Hey, what's up, I'm Nizio Cole, and it has been about two months since the last DLC for year one of Watch Dogs Legion was released. So I thought I'd make a video kind of comparing each DLC, and in the end, I'm going to be talking about which one was my favorite, which one was my least favorite, and if I think the season pass was worth it. So let's get right into it. So the first DLC that was released for this game was the Mina DLC, which came in on update TU 4.0, which was released on June 1st. Once a test subject, Mina now wields the power of mind control and can take control of an enemy with her mind control device, the Omni Optic. She's also equipped with a mental blast that can disrupt nearby enemies, which I also like to call headache mode. She has a pretty cool melee move and a voice to go with it. Reminds me a lot of the Shuffler from Watch Dogs 2. And this DLC also comes with a new mission called Swipe Right. DeadSec discovers that someone in London is conspiring with an Egyptian minister to sell off the country's antiquities. Now let's talk about Bloodline which came in on update TU 5.0 which was released on July 6th. In Bloodline, players will follow Aiden as he accepts a routine fixer job in London to reconnect with his nephew Jackson following the events of Watch Dogs. Aiden's mission is to infiltrate a high-tech laboratory from Brokatech to steal a mysterious and valuable piece of technology. But his mission is compromised when Wrench escapes with the device. With his fixer contract now gone sideways, Aiden is caught in a deadly crossfire with no real allies against a corporate giant and with Wrench one step ahead of him. Aiden must team up with his estranged nephew Jackson and rely on his grit and experience. With Wrench's unpredictable behavior, things are bound to get chaotic. Bloodline comes with 10 main missions and 19 side missions. You can play as Aiden, who has a number of different abilities such as Focus Mode, a damage buff with reload and system crash. Same with Wrench, but his abilities include a custom grenade launcher, a hammer called Lady Smash, a custom drone called Sergei, and ninja balls. As well as that, there's also a new multi drone, which is a cross between a drone and a spider bot. There's a new soundtrack, which in my opinion is better than the original game soundtrack, and even features some remastered songs from the original game. There's a ton of cameos from previous characters from previous games. Bloodline takes place before the events of the main game, but if you beat Bloodline, you can play as both Aiden and Wrench in the main campaign. And now we have the Assassin's Creed crossover. This DLC came with update TU 5.5 on August 24th. There are two new single player missions, two new world missions, and Darcy, who is the main attraction of this DLC. Darcy has a ton of abilities, such as the Hidden Blade, which I've heard is a staple in the Assassin's Creed series, and you can perform a number of different takedowns with it. There's the Eagle Drone, which can self-destruct and emit a short-range EMP. She has Assassin Training, which allows her to avoid detection for longer while in stealth and take less weapon damage while sprinting. She has an AR Disguise, which allows her to assume the identity of a soldier within restricted access locations. This also applies to nearby alleys in multiplayer. She has the Assassin's Gun, which is a discreet Brotherhood pistol, which fires a single high damage shot, automatically reloads while holstered. And she has the Assassin's Dart Gun, which is a concealed dart gun that causes human targets to go berserk. This also automatically reloads while holstered. So that was a quick recap of all the DLC that we've gotten for Watch Dogs Legion this year. And this may or may not have been obvious, but my favorite of the three DLCs that were released this year was Watch Dogs Legion Bloodline. And my reasoning behind this is that there was just so much more content for Bloodline. It had a really solid villain. The final boss mission was really good as well. And it honestly felt like an entirely new Watch Dogs game. I really enjoyed the Assassin's Creed crossover as well. Although it wasn't my favorite, I still really enjoyed playing as Darcy to this day with all of her different abilities. I think it was a nice short DLC. And Mina, there wasn't really that much added with her part of the DLC. And her being released first kind of really lowered my expectations for future DLC, but that was definitely brought up with Bloodline and Assassin's Creed. Now would I recommend the Season Pass? Absolutely 100%. If you loved Watch Dogs Legion or if you thought it was okay, you're gonna love Bloodline, you're gonna love Assassin's Creed, you might like Mina, but I think overall it is a great value and there's nothing specifically said that they can't release more DLC in the future, so if they do, then that will also be covered underneath the Season Pass. Now I made more in-depth videos about each of these updates, I will have them all linked in the description if you wanna go check them out. I hope you all enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts on the whole DLC for Watch Dogs Legion, which one was your favorite, have you played one of them, have you played all of them? Let me know, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.